Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Studio Series 80 Bumblebee movie, Brawn. Now I just got Brawn in today thanks to Entertainment Earth along with the rest of the Studio Series Bumblebee line and very impressed with Entertainment Earth. They ship these guys fast and very well packed. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. We got Transformers Studio Series 80, Braun right there behind the plastic. There is a picture of Braun right there, and man, that is a weird looking face. The side of the box, a close up of that weird looking face, Studio Series 80. Back of the packaging, we got Braun in his vehicle mode, Braun in robot mode, and the backdrop. This side of the package, more of that artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get Braun opened up out of this box and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. I just wanted to point out real quick that all of these Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Deluxe figures all have the same backdrop. It's this Cybertronian battle scene with the bridge. So 80, 81, and 82 all have the same backdrop. The more you know. Now, once you get Studio Series 80 Brawn all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with this gigantic blaster and this drill bit. And I do like how this is with the painted silver for the blades. And of course, you've got Braun himself. Now, I actually like this little figure a lot more than I thought I would. When I first saw pictures of him online, I was like, meh. But after messing around with him for a while, he is really, really cool. That head sculpt, though, every time I see that, I only think of one thing. Don't you know who I am? I'm the Juggernaut, bitch! But, of course, it works for Braun. Not much of a face sculpt, though. Kind of looks like a mashed-in face, so eh, about my only real complaint with the looks of his robot mode. Everything else is great. Very brawn looking collars with the yellow, the military green, and the silver. And he's, he just looks really, really good. Nice and solid. There's no real gaps anywhere on the figure whatsoever, except there on the back of the calves. But that's for transformation. Now, articulation for brawn. The head is on a swivel. It can look left and right. I'm not sure if it can do a complete 360 because really I can't get it to turn because it's all recessed in there. But who has their figure posed with the head looking back anyway? Arms can go up. They can go down. They can do a complete 360. There is a rotation thanks to a ball joint there at the shoulder, a bicep bend, actually a double bicep bend, and wrist rotation. He also has waist rotation. Legs can go out slightly. The wheel right there is going to hit the side, so there's not a lot of range of motion right there. 
but they can go forward. They can go back. Actually, really tight. They, <laughs> I saw right there they came up together, but they're individually attached. So back, forward, out, in. There is a knee bend and an ankle tilt. There is also a knee rotation. So he's got quite a bit of articulation for such a bulky looking bot. And I just dig it. He just looks like a bruiser. Now let's grab the weapons here. I love this massive cannon. That looks so cool. Go ahead and put that in his hand right there. And that is awesome. He actually started off the movie, I believe, opening fire like so before I think he got shot just like in the Transformers, the movie. So there is his big cannon. And he also has the drill bit that you can put in his hand like so, like a melee weapon, or there's a little hole right there so you can peg it on top of the blaster. So it's kind of like a reverse bayonet. I wish it was there on the bottom. Now let's see if the weapon is blast effect compatible. It looks like it may be. And yes, there we go. So that is cool. Love the blast effects though. That fell right out. So it's a little loose, but it works. So there you go, guys. There you've got Braun looking all badass and ready for battle. Now, let's get him transformed into his vehicle mode. And the first thing we're going to do, go ahead and remove the weapons. Go ahead and straighten the arms out. Turn him around. And then pop this section here out. Just flip the hole back up underneath of some wheels. Go ahead and pull those out. Now you're going to take the arms, swing these up. And you want to get this where you bring the arms in. But see this little silver section? Make sure it is facing out. So get that in like so. My bad, it's this silver section. So you got two different silver sections. Make sure the one with the curve is on the inside. Now you can bring it in. And on the forearm, you've got this little circle right here. There's a little shallow hole that needs to line up and peg in to the hole right there in the window. So you got that one. Get this one next. So that's pegged in. You'll hear it snap into place. So you've got that look going on. Now go ahead and press Braun's head down into the body. Just like so. You can push it down all the way if you'd like, but right about there is perfect. Now we're going to rotate the waist around, bring the legs up, fold the feet down. And now this is a really cool transformation right here. You're going to take the legs and flip them all the way around. And the toes are actually going to slide through this part of the leg so the feet can attach there. I think that's pretty cool. I like creative transformations. So now we've got this look going on. Go ahead and bring the leg up rotate around and you want to line up this green section right here there's a couple of tabs there's a tab right there that's going to line up with this one and then this tab right here is going to go into the wheel clip so go ahead and get that lined up this sometimes can be a pain the easiest way i've discovered is go ahead and get the wheel clipped in first then peg in this section so there's one do the other. And there we have Braun in his vehicle mode, some sort of Cybertronian transport. And actually looks really good. I like the windshield right there. Usually not a fan of translucent plastic, but it really works for him. There's not a lot of Cybertronian junk or robot junk. Excuse me. There's not a lot of robot junk showing through. You do see the arms, but it's not that bad. You cannot tell those are arms. His head is hid real well. Autobot logo there on the back. And I just think this cleans up really, really good and actually rolls really good. So I dig it. This is a really cool looking vehicle, but 
we need to add the weapons on to make Braun a little bit more brawnish. And after all, he is a battle vehicle. And I love how you do this. Take the drill bit and push the drill bit right here in this hole in the front of the vehicle and flip that up. So now he's got a drill on the front, the big cannon right here. You've got this little peg. Line that up with the hole on the back of the rifle, or on the bottom of the rifle rather. Peg that in. The handle is going to press the head even further down. And now you've got Braun in this really sweet looking drill tank mode and i love this this is so cool you just don't get enough drill tank vehicles anymore man in the 80s it seems like you had a drill tank in every series and i just think this looks awesome i do wish the drill section would spin it does not the only spin you're going to get is to rotate the whole thing in the port and with all the stuff attached he still rolls really, really good. A very impressive little figure. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Studio Series 80 Brawn with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Brawn, Titans Return Brawn, Power of the Primes Brawn, and Studio Series 81 Wheeljack. Transformers Studio Series 80 Brawn is actually a really good figure. This one surprised me. As I said earlier, I really didn't have any intention on picking him up, but I am so glad I did. This guy's a ton of fun. He's got a really cool robot mode, inventive transformation, and I love how you can transform the vehicle mode from a basic transport to an armored drill tank. So there you go guys, Transformers Studio Series 80, Brawn. So, does a Transformers Studio Series 80 Bumblebee movie Brawn belong in your collection? Well, if you're a fan of the Bumblebee movie or a fan of Brawn, absolutely. I love this little figure. He is so much fun. He's just got a great looking robot mode, fun vehicle modes. I like the fact that you have either a combat transport or a drill tank. I think that is really cool. And I think Hasbro really nailed Braun. He just has a lot of personality in this little figure. And he's just spot on to how he looked in the Bumblebee movie. At least all four seconds that he appeared in the Bumblebee movie. So yeah, you see this guy on the shelf, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it is support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!